recording. Oh shoot! Is my working? Oh my We're chilling. It's What's working? up, guys? Welcome What's back good, guys? to the it's welcome to the first, first podcast. Welcome back. I didn't welcome mean welcome back because it's welcome the first time you're seeing us. Welcome, welcome to, to yes, welcome, welcome to, to our first podcast. We first are on podcast. Emotion. On emotion. And this is our first podcast. I really hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, so today, what are we talking about, Mercury? So today we have quite the information to cover. Today, guys, we're talking about the history of big cats and also why they are very important in ancient Egypt. Oh, shoot. It's getting real. Now let's get a little serious here. Egypt. Oh, my goodness. We're starting it up. All right. So I'm too hyped, man. <sighs> Calm it down. All right. I have a question for you, Metalogix. Um, All right, bet. I'm ready to hear it. We have two questions, and then we're going to get into the facts. So, first question. Why do you think animals used to be bigger? Oh, well, you know, they're top predators. Uh, they're, they were meant for a uh, medium-sized kill. Uh, because if you guys know that in history there have been dinosaurs, there have been mammoths, uh -huh. there have been, like, gators and all these other fish and creatures and mammals that have been quite big compared to what they are now today so what i'm thinking is why they are doing this why they have changed so much is because of evolution evolution right. meaning that there is less animals in the world there is endangerment you know some of them got cut off because of the meteor and uh -huh. that is what i think that that that's why cool that's actually that's pretty uh to your, to your question you know pretty good guess and that is why they've become smaller and they become more mice size eaters, more rabbit size eaters, frogs, etc. Yeah. All right, I feel you. Uh, second question. This is the last question we got before we get into the facts. We have, uh, do you think animals will ever go back to their prehistoric size, specifically the kitty? Do you think it, the kitty will ever go back to how much larger it was before, way back when? Well, well, Mercury, I think you're on a good point there. That is a really good question. Um, I do believe that they will within maybe at least at least 2,000 years Ooh. If, if the world if the world ends up it. like <laughs> if, if the world ends up, ends up crashing you know we we could possibly see a change in evolution there's always evolution around us constantly yeah no doubt about it you may not see it at first but there's evolution stuff's and changing that, that's where I see it as they will become bigger and they will become more larger because because we're growing because people in age 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 grows age grows yeah you I know, see it. it changes it changes the key point it changes and you, i mean that's my point of it i think that animals will become larger again um and grow more and have at least at least to be uh, nine feet in length. Ooh, um, tell you. And about like 300 pounds at least for cats Dang. exactly. So I mean, with what you're saying, I do believe that that cats will become larger again. I do believe so. But okay, W. Uh, do you have any? Oh, what is that? Do you have any questions for me? Uh. Yes, I I do. I do. I, bet. I do. Let me. Me with them. So my my question is to you is do you think house cats have taken some of the characteristics of big cats over the years? Ooh, let's what? see. So I definitely think some house cats have taken characteristics of big cats because now with house cats, you know, you see they be you know they be killing mice, they be they be like it's like they be protecting you like they'll the they they got real good at doing the stealth stuff like you know you got a mouse or a roach in your house and that 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 cat can just you know gum just eat it up and it's it's, <laughs> it's keeping us safe because like we don't like snakes we don't like rats we don't like that and cats are just nomming them up i feel like they protect us like really well um from like these rodents and stuff and i feel like cats have adapted some of the you know characteristics of big cats so yes. Slay. Love that answer. I have another question for you. Yes, sir. Uh, I have a question for you about the big cats, the lion, yes, sir. the king of the jungle. Now, here is my question to you. Why do you think that lions are called the king of the jungle? Well, okay, let's just think about it. Um, Let's think about it on the food chain. I mean, lions are 
dang near humans, right? Lions are at the top of the food chain, right? They be eating uh, everything, and not, not not much can kill a lion. Um, and I feel like that's what gives it its title, King of the King of the Jungle, is because lions are so superior to other animals that would be found in, let's say, a jungle. They uh, they I mean, they strong, they're fast, they got all the key attributes of a good animal, and they just go crazy with it. So that's why I feel like uh, the lion, King of the Jungle, as some would say. Is is called that? <laughs> Gets that title. I, I, that's a good thing. That's a good. That's 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 that's. I, hey. I like your uh, input on that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh. So I think now's the time we get into the information. So, let's start off. Do you want to start off with your information, or do you do you want me to start off with it? Um. All okay. right. So I can start with mine. I bet. Um, do you want to start off with the biggest cat? In the uh, in all the species of the cats and the big cats, or do you we want to start with the smallest? You know what? I think I, Let's start small I and work our way up. Okay, okay. Um, I would say the leopards. The leopards. leopards. So leopards, you know, they're cute and they're adorable. They may be cuddly, but trust me, that's the last if you want to be cuddling. Trust me. Uh, they be living across Africa and some a areas of Asia. They have nine different species. Isn't that cool, Mercury? Dude, that's crazy. Nine different yeah, there's, species there's, there's of snow leopards? leopards? Definitely. If you know who the snow leopard is, those are the one of the cutest ones. I love the snow leopard. But you know what's crazy about the snow leopards and leopards in general? They can run up to 30 miles per hour. 30 Dang. miles per hour. They that is fast. They have a very strong bite and are very stealthy. I mean, most cats are, but this one is very stealthy. There are about 38 species of cat wandering on this earth. 38 species. That is a quite a big amount of big cats. So, uh, second biggest cat. I feel like, uh, I feel like I don't even, I don't even know what the second best, biggest cat is, honestly. I'm gonna, let's go with tigers. Tigers. Adorable. But you know what's sad about that, Mercury? Do you want to know what's sad about tigers? I want to know. Elaborate. They are endangered. They are endangered. Oh, wait, actually? Yes. Yes, they Dude, I didn't actually know that. Hold years. up. Yeah, no, and, and it's really sad that most cats, most cats are, most big cats are captive rather than in their homeland and in their home nature. That's not right. No, not the and cats. You know that and that is because of poachers. That is because of human nature. It's because of, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. And I think that tigers are really amazing and deserve to Dude. have a longer lifespan than what they have had recently i swear if tigers go poachers. extinct i'm gonna cry man I so tigers they have six different species and live throughout asia having their markings all the way down their tails with the black and, and orange stripes there are some some tigers some tigers that are white with black stripes which are albino not tigers albino. oh wait not what albino. they're not albino <laughs> oh they're not albino i forgot the name of it but they're not albino which they're very beautiful Ooh. They have a very muscular structure, definitely. In the past, Siberians, Siberian tigers were the bigger tigers, but as years went on, to see that the Bengal tigers were the longer and bigger species. Oh, wow. Tigers are still very much endangered, as you know, as I said. They are very endangered, and that's why we keep them captive. And so that's why we breed them inside the captivity, inside zoos, inside, no. you know, inside those habitats. And, and throughout Africa and Asia, they have so many different different habitats and uh, ranch, basically. I, I call them a ranch for, for cats. Cat ranch. Where they have a section for those animals to wander. Oh, yeah. And they keep an eye on those animals. And I think it's beautiful. I really do. Hey, that's better than just leaving them in a carnival, you know? Like a little... That's better than that, holding them I in cages. I know. I don't... That's not a good thing. No, it's not. And you know what's also crazy? Tigers have the biggest teeth and are and are really well known for their strong bite. They Oof. love meat. Most of the cats are carnivores. Uh, I do believe a couple cats do like fish. I don't think that's carnivore, though. So, uh... Uh, that's... Yeah. Well, it is meat. That would be a topic meat. for another day. <laughs> oh, God. Jeez. So... Uh, do you want me to keep going about my cats, or do you have anything to say? Um, so let me say something real quick. We have, so far we have covered the leopard and the tiger, is it? Yep, So we're working our way up. How many more do you have? 
I have lions and jaguars. I mean, let's hear it, man. All right. Well, we're going to go with the lion. It's the only, like, the littlest thing I have right here. I, don't, I hardly have any information about lions. But as you know, so I say that lions, they're big, right? King of the jungle, as yeah. I said. They're very known for their large manes and their roars. They are the top tier predator as the only cats with black tips of their tail. Oh, wow. And you, know, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Uh, most of the male cats, they, they do their mating with the females and then leave. They leave. Oh, no. Oh, and you know what the worst part is? What? They eat the cubs. They eat Dude. the cubs. Dude. And, and, and I... I don't remember why, but I know that in lion in lion groups, they um, if another male lion comes up to another male lion with a female lion in that pride, in the pride, that other male lion will eat the cubs and mate with the female. Dude, that's they will destroy that's those wild. cubs. It is very sad, definitely. Dude, and you know what? Lions are so crazy. You know, they're willing to attack at any moment. Very stealthy and very fast but very large and bulk so they just got a good mix of everything you know i think that lions are very special yes they're also endangered i think all cats are endangered i think most of the animals in the earth on earth are endangered um <laughs> as of now at least to next, next topic uh, yeah uh, let's go to the jaguars hey. jaguars they're known for their spots with spots in them they have little spots with spots in the spots if you know Ooh. what i mean and like a fluffy spots. tail. This feline is the biggest cat in the world. Can kill prey with a single bite right into the Dang. brain. And like I said with the males, I said males are there to mate and kill. Mothers raise their children because of this. Ooh. They can weigh up to 350 pounds. Wow. That is like... Because yes. in comparison to like the other cats, that's like high up. Depending on if it's a female or male, true. You know, it can it, it can range from 80 to 350 pounds, which is 80 is less than what we normally weigh. Mm. You know, that's like a, that's 80 pounds is the size of a fourth grader at least. A Dude. fourth grader would weigh 80 pounds. For real. They have a strong bite and can bite through a turtle shell, oh. which is quite strong. You they know what? They gotta start endangered... hiring. Oh my bad. They are an endangered species. Dang. Camouflage for all big cats depend on their region. You know, with with lions, their mane, they kind of help with the savanna grass. With tigers, uh, they tree bark. You know, they all go with their region. It's it's amazing. I really do think so. And uh, that leads us uh, to uh, to you, Mercury. All right. So I have a lot of stuff to cover here. Why were animals so big in the past? And we do not have a definite answer at all, but I re I read the Slate article and it said that prehistoric animals had time to grow way back when. Uh, so let's read this. It said that animals had more time to grow and I'm assuming that there wasn't people hunting the animals because people didn't exist way back then. So I feel like animals had a lot healthier of a, a lifetime than, than animals now. Um, and I would agree with that. Yeah, so that's one reason why they got uh, way bigger was because you know they could, they could eat, they could hunt, and they weren't being hunted or, or like put in cages like they are now. So, in the article it says specifically that sauropods, the plant-eating ones, and the giant predatory theropods, yes, that's its name, live to be lived 200 million years ago. And uh, th that's what I mean. Well, that's way back. And it says that a couple years later, from the thoropods when they they dropped when they spawned in, <laughs> uh, larger animals just kind of you know just kind of existed. There was the we got the woolly mammoth, we got rhinos, we got all these larger animals. Um, they all lived like five million years ago. But the problem is these big animals got went extinct or started going extinct. And yeah. we lost the dinosaurs to that. And pretty much the reason why these large animals like the rhinos and stuff still exist today is because they never fully went extinct from the past. And that's why though we have huge animals like rhinos and stuff, but that's why cats are smaller because living conditions from way back then were changed. And that's now why, like cats, for example, they are way smaller now because they don't live like they used to. A lot of things changed and that's why we lost uh, a lot of big animals like the dinos and woolly mammoths and stuff because they all went extinct. Mercury? Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. may, I, may I cut in for a minute? Yes, sir. So, like you said with the small cats, you know, I have three cats. I have Big Puff, Little Puff, and Angel. And, you know, they they live they live for 20, 20, 15 to 26 years. Oh, wow. And, yeah, no, definitely wow for, for how small they are. But, you know how I think the bigger cats live longer, actually. Uh-huh. I do believe that the the cats that we're talking about, the bigger cats, have lived longer back in the past. I mean, within their time species where, where they started off as, and um, before they all kind of just died off, such yeah. as the saber tooth, saber, saber tooth, you know? Uh -huh. I feel um, So I feel like, like you had said, how the small cats, um, and, and it's, it's just whatnot, I feel like, you know, they, with evolution, I feel like they've come a long way, not just by size, but how long they're alive for. Uh huh. So uh, I just gotta, I just gotta say that you know, they, 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 you. even though they're small, they stay alive for quite a long time. So that is a great end to this little section we got. Pretty much to summarize, cats used to uh, be bigger because of their living conditions, but that all kind of changed as of as of now. And way back when, all, when we had all these big animals, they all kind of went extinct, and that's why we only have a couple like the rhino and other things. But now, I'm going to move on to the next topic in today's discussion, which is going to be cats in ancient Egypt and why they're so important. So, I'm going to uh, start this off, and I'll take little brief pauses for us to have, uh, you know, a little conversation about this. So, to start off, way back in ancient times, cats were... Very important in the God. culture, in paintings. Oh wait, and you know, like in paintings found in tombs, you could see that cats were portrayed as helpers. Like they're always very important, and it says that protectors, as, protectors as well. Protectors, yes. Maybe they're helping hunt, or maybe they're protecting humans. They are very respectful little guys. But there's even more. In some paintings, you can see a cat with a knife or dagger of some sort. He is shown cutting through a snake deity called Apophis or something like that. And he, Apophis, is after the sun god Ra. Something like that. I don't know how to say these names. But um, I can assume that Apophis is some evil snake thing. And this further pushes the fact that cats are seen as fierce warriors and protectors. Because he's protecting the sun god via killing the snake deity. And... Um, there's even more to push this theory further. When you get- way back when, when you would get mummified, right? Some people yeah. would mummify their cats, so Definitely. you or gods could inherit the cat's body. The people didn't worship the cats, but they saw cats as a vessel for their gods. Pretty much, if I were to get money mummified, I would get my cat mummified too, and then either I or some god in the afterlife can take control of that cat's body. Um, and I have one more little paragraph. Finally, there is this lion deity called, I don't know how to say this. It's like Sekhmet, Sekhmet or something like that. Uh, how do you spell it? S-E-K-H-M-E-T. Good question. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, he would fight off evils and protect people from sicknesses and illnesses. I wish we had that now. <laughs> he was seen as a warrior and a protector of the people. This, um, this makes people under this culture appreciate cats more. And because of all this, they would praise the cats for what they do, and they would dress them up in like shiny clothing and let them live luxurious lives. So definitely that, praising them. That is why. Uh, that is my answer to why cats were so important in ancient Egypt times. And uh, what do you have to say about that, Melodrix? I love that. Uh, I think that back then, way, way, way back then, that, that like you said, you know, they basically were worshipped. They were seen as some a protector, as, as I had said before. And it seems like they were. As in, as in the scriptures and all the hieroglyphics. Yeah, they seem like very uh, good. And I'm pretty sure that's the right word for that. Yeah. With all the uh, all the images of the walls and and there has been you're right with the mummified uh, um, cats. There has been some cats that researchers have found in tombs in Egypt. Uh, oh, yes, they do that. With so their owner. I think it's really cool 
um, how all of this plays out and how, uh, like the ancient Egyptian beliefs. I agree with you. I really, I really do have a big question though for you. Now, this is a bit, a bit strange, um, uh, but it's a question. So, if you had a cat, if you had a cat, and you were back, back then, do you think that you'd mummify yourself with your cat? A hundred percent. If I was a part of the ancient Egypt culture, and way back when, if I had a, I had a cat, right? I would, when I died, I would get myself mummified with my cat, because I want those benefits, man. I want to be able to maybe inherit my cat's uh, body when I go to the afterlife, or maybe some god takes control of it. I feel like that would be very helpful. I have my own cat, and I would do anything for her. You know, there's a house fire. She's going out first. She's going out Dang. first. As you know, Mercury, I love this cat so much. And I would definitely, if she was around and I was around back in the Egyptian days, and I don't know exactly what year it was, but way back when, I think I'd get myself uh, mummified with my cat for sure. Definitely. How do you want to wrap this up? I think we hit every topic. I think we slayed on this for real. God, I do think we slid for our first, uh, <laughs> first ever, ever podcast. podcast. I think that's a good, we got a good 30 minutes out of it. Hey, that's not even bad. I read all my scripts. You got all your stuff done. And guys, I really do hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, we have more to come. Trust me. For and sure. Guests will and be, guests will be allowed. We have um, a Discord uh, will be posted into the the links that will be below uh, to the Instagram, the Twitter, the YouTube, all the socials we for have sure. there will be down below. For real, man. If you want to be in the if you want to be in the show, maybe comment down below. If not, you know, hit up the Discord. We have the Discord server linked below, along with the links. There will be our sources cited for um, our information. If you want to read up on this, I we're not the best at this stuff, but we got all our information from trustable sites like History.com and Slate.com, and uh, you know, uh, Slay. <laughs> Um, and also, Definitely I'm just gonna, play. I'm not gonna, uh, spoil anything, but we have some good topics coming up, so if you want to stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, and, uh... Give us a like, give, give us, us a, a like. comment, share it and love, share, share our channel with your friends, family, your dog, your yeah. cat, your dog wants to watch this. Cat. Maybe the tiger at the zoo, yeah. tell them, hey, this is Uneven Emotions, and they are badass, alright, we love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. And, uh, and I'll see Mercury? you next time. Yeah. <laughs> the sun. The, the, we'll end it with the quote. The sun the shines. Sun. The sun shines. The sun. Ready? 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 The sun. The, oh, oh, we're doing it at the same time. Okay, okay. three. <laughs> three, two, one. The sun the shines. The sun shines.